Inmates at the Logan Correctional Center had to be relocated after a massive sewer leak, and that relocation drove some inmates to take action. WCI3's Cole Henke has the story. Conditions at Logan Correctional Facility were so bad that three inmates chose to go on a hunger strike to draw attention to them. We've been hearing that um, there was a sewage backup uh, on grounds and that women were literally walking through their own excrement on uh, a certain housing unit or so at the facility. The Logan Correctional Center is the largest penitentiary for women in the state. While conditions are appalling for inmate advocacy groups, they're not necessarily surprising. I hate that they're going through this, but I am not surprised. Um, we're letting it deteriorate. Um, and it's, it's the worst for the women. The Illinois Department of Corrections confirmed the information about the sewage leak in a statement Thursday. They said 49 women in total were transferred to a different unit while it was fixed. And it was in there that the three inmates started the hunger strike. The statement also said the strike lasted three days, ending yesterday after they were moved back to their original unit. And I think that the fact that this, the, the challenges have reached this level is a wake up call that like we have to take action. The state announced a plan last month to cut its women's prison population in half. Part of the plan is to ditch large facilities like Logan for a more regionalized approach. The Women's Justice Institute says this is just more evidence the change is needed. Reporting in Logan County, I'm Cole Hankey. The last time the state shut down a women's prison in the state was 2013. Dwight Correctional Center was closed because of Illinois' budget crisis. Women were moved from that facility to Logan.